A new overgrowth spell is coming in the Clash of Clans update and it is sure to impact your strategies. A couple of days ago in Sneak Peek 1, I talked you through the new defense levels for the update. Then in Sneak Peek 2, the new equipment for the Royal Champion. But today, it is all about the new spell. You will unlock this by upgrading your Dark Spell Factory. It gives a brief summary on this screen. Tangle the enemy up to take them down. When the Dark spell factory is upgrading remember your spells will brew at 50 percent the rate so you might want to use a book of building on it as i mentioned you unlock the spell at town hall 12 and even at town hall 12 you can upgrade it from level one to level two and this is our first glimpse at what the spell does look at that huge radius it tangles up so many defenses to where the king purely ignores them. And it is for 22 seconds at level one. Upgrading to level two provides an extra two seconds. You can then upgrade to level three at town hall 14, providing another two seconds. And then the final level of four is when you are required to be a town hall 16. This will cost you 350,000 dark elixir with 16 days in order to upgrade once you have done that you get the maximum of 28 seconds to tangle up the defenses this does not include any of the gold pass perks which if you are purchasing anything following the update you can use code judo to support my channel and it's very much appreciated let's go over the mechanics of the spell first then so you understand what it does and then you know how to apply it once we discuss strategy you can think of the overgrowth spell very much like a combination of the the freeze and the invisibility spell. Much like those spells, the upgrades only impact the spell duration. So from level one to four, you only get an extra six seconds. But you could very much still use this at level one whilst you're upgrading it. It is two spell capacity, whereas the freeze and the invis is only one, but it lasts a lot longer and it has a much bigger radius. I did spend some time trying to figure out the maximum radius of this spell, moving buildings one tile each attack. And what I found is 15 tiles is the maximum for this spell diagonally. This includes the buildings you're trying to trap and vertically or horizontally, this is 11 tiles. I'm sure over time though, we'll just get a natural gauge of the spell and what we can hit. Just like the invisibility spell, the overgrowth spell will not be able to trap traps. So you have to remember skeleton traps, giant bombs, enemy heroes will all attract fire from your troops. Even defending clan castle troops cannot be trapped from the overgrowth spell. However, the one exception to this is Tesla. As it stands right now, even if Tesla are not popped, so they're not visible, the spell will still trap them. So even if your troops walk over that area, they will just stay underground. With all of those factors, what we will have to be careful with is if our army is caught up in the middle of this and then they target a building outside of the spell just before it expires, all of the defenses become visible again, but it wouldn't cause your troops to retarget until after they had taken out the building they were about to go to. So just like when you activate an invisibility spell tower, your troops might end up in the middle of it taking immense damage. In terms of strategy for this new spell. I have a couple of recommendations for you, but as ever, I am very excited to see what the community comes up with once it's in the hands of millions of players. Because this is almost a fusion of the freeze and the invisibility spell, I see two main use cases for it. The first is an extended freeze with huge radius. So for example, if you are doing a big hero dive and you have the eagle artillery, rounded expos, major defenses in the center of the base that your heroes aren't going to get to for a little while but they're going to be taking damage from then this spell is fantastic at keeping those out of action you can get a lot more value from your heroes and this could also be a benefit when it comes to your army as well 
typically your troops take a little bit of time until they get to the core of the base you don't want the eagle artillery raining damage on them that entire time the main thing is assuring you get the timing correct so that the spell actually expires by the time your troops are moving to the core but in most situations we set up pathing for our main army to move through anyway so in the example you're watching i protect health on the heroes and then the electro dragons can take out these initial buildings before they get towards the center where that major damage is and once those buildings become visible i then use my rage and freeze spells to wipe those out the other use case is using it like an invisibility spell and i think this is going to help a lot of players actually especially on those ring style bases we've all had it where we're trying to get our troops to go into the town hall into the core of the base where all of the damage is but the flanks distract our troops and we just end up one starring but now what you could do is freeze both of the flanks turning those invisible so yes you have to use two of the overgrowth spells that means all of your troops literally beeline into the center of the base you can take that down and typically a lot of the damage is in the core of the base you might even choose to send the royal champion around the flank afterwards if you're worried about time failing but it can definitely help to assure you don't miss the town hall perhaps you're a queen charge attacker this spell could be helpful as well particularly once you're getting further into the base and it's harder to predict how to create the funnel and path the queen where you want you could just turn one side invisible using this spell it mitigates damage on your queen as well but she's going to move exactly where you want whether that's towards the town hall or a high damage area but that should equip you with all of the information you need to know about the upcoming update and if you did miss the royal champion equipment video i have that linked on your screen enjoy the rest of your day